big hello to my viewers and especially to my lovely 217 subscribers. At least at the time I'm recording this, there are that many. How to get a 3D solid model from AutoCAD to Blender? There are two answers here, a quick one and a detailed one. The detailed answer is slower so you can take notes. The quick answer. Open the 3D model in AutoCAD and export it to iChess format. If it's a 3D model in Inventor, export it to the step format. Download the Open Cascade CAD Assistant, link is in the video description. Open the iChess or step file with it and save it in OBG format. Leave the default settings unchanged. Import the OBG file into Blender. Pay attention to the settings when importing, set up and scaling and use the spread options if you want all the individual parts to be separate instead of a single mesh. You may have to apply a correspondingly low scaling after the import and adjust the clipping of the viewport. That depends on the size of the imported model. The detailed answer. Open this 3D model in AutoCAD. If you only want individual parts of the model in Blender, turn the display so that you can select these individual parts with the mouse. From the AutoCAD menu itself, choose Export and then Other Formats. Set the file type to IHS. Whether the file extension is IGES or IGS, that makes no difference. Then click on Save. AutoCAD now wants to know which of the parts you want to export. Either you now select the individual parts with the mouse, or you simply enter all. Pay attention to the underscore in front of the word all. Commands in AutoCAD with an underscore as prefix works in all language versions of AutoCAD. Confirm with enter and wait for the export to complete. The export itself runs in the background, can take a while depending on the size of the model and the number of parts. After the export is finished, AutoCAD displays a message about this in the lower right corner. After that, you no longer need AutoCAD, you can quit now. Then we get a free conversion tool. I have had the best experiences with the Open Cascade open source tool CAD Assistant. It's available for Linux, macOS, Android, iOS and even Windows. The link is in the description below. Download it and install it. Start the CAD Assistant and open the IGES or IGS file with it. Depending on the file size, this can take a while and this small arrow shows some information during the import. When the file has been read in, you will see the imported model on the screen. Clicking on the disk icon will save you. Here below in the file formats we set to OBG and in the export options the unit to millimeters and the coordinate system to plus set top. This should be the default settings. If your 3D model is not in millimeters, then you should change the unit accordingly. Click save and wait for that to finish. You can then exit the CAD assistant again. And now to Blender. Make sure the add-ons allow import of OBG format. And if you don't need them, delete the default objects. Now go to File, then Import, then Wavefront, parenthesis OBG, parenthesis, and select the file with the mouse. In the Transform settings, set Forward to minus X and set Up to C or Z. If your model to be imported consists of individual parts and you want to keep these individual parts in Blender, select both options under Split. And now click on Import OBG and wait for the import to finish. It may be that after the import nothing is visible on the screen, but the whole list of marked meshes already appears in the outline. If that's the case, just apply a scaling by 0.1. So simply press S, type 0.1 and press Enter. If necessary, repeat this until the model can be seen on the screen. Somewhere there is still a problem with the scaling of the units when importing that I haven't quite figured out yet. But they are always powers of 10, so it's easy to correct accordingly just by scaling by 0.1 or scaling by 10. 
but mostly it's 0 0.1. And here it is. The 3D solid model from AutoCAD is now in Blender. Even the zero point is retained, so it appears in the correct position. And a practical tip, before you do anything else, save the whole thing as a blend file first. How does this work with Inventor? In principle exactly the same, only it is exported from Inventor into step format, and then the step file is opened in the CAD assistant. The further steps are exactly as before, save it as an OBJ and import the OBJ into Blender and scale it down if necessary. Some additional hints. I haven't figured out yet how to go the other way around with open source tools from Blender to AutoCAD or Inventor. By default, Blender does not have an export format that you can read directly into AutoCAD or Inventor. I have some good experiences with Fusion 360 so far, but that's not open source. It's not free, you have to pay for it, and as far as I know, it's not available for Linux either. Therefore, it is out of the question for me at this point. Unfortunately, the CAD assistant is no help either. This is mainly due to the fact that Blender uses surface models, while AutoCAD and Inventor use solid models. Also, I'm sometimes not sure if this is really the case with AutoCAD. And the CAD assistant, unfortunately, cannot convert from surface models to volume models. Exporting and importing back and forth can take a long time, especially with large models. Only patience helps. If you want to texture the imported 3D model in Blender, selected linked objects by material can be a great help. Just texture one part and then copy the textures to all others with the same texture. As for 2D blends, there is a very detailed description on the Shokufur channel on how best to get them into Blender. I will link you to Shokufur's playlist below in the description. He really covered in a great detail there. If 2D blends are a topic for you, you should definitely look into this. Well, my dears, that was a little tip from practice when planning industrial blends. I wish you a nice day or evening or whatever. Ciao.